All right, guys, welcome back. AMD. So last time we covered this name, it was before earnings. We were talking about this name basically flushing down and possibly traded reversal, but it didn't happen. So stock gapped up. They reported strong earnings, which is absolutely expected that uh, these names are going to be reporting pretty good earnings, but it's all about guidance. They got it fine, but anybody who was losing money you can see for the last three weeks or so we only had like one green day uh in uh, basically amd uh, and i'm looking at candlestick if you're not familiar with this it doesn't mean that like let's say this candle it was in positive closing day um it just means that anytime stock opened higher it closed lower and you can see the trend as well so selling pressure pretty relentless and just that week uh if we just measure this drop from 185 all the way to these levels were on friday stock closed that's a 30 percent 28 percent decline in about 15 trading sessions that's a pretty big drop and i want to go back to the time we talked about this name somewhere around here 186 but it was around march saying that this stock is expensive maybe even right here that is it too expensive and you can just go filter through my videos and i brought up this chart where on top you have stock price and then you have um free cash flow per share um and again these numbers are quarterly and down here we have that ratio price to free cash flow ratio and you can see uh when in 2020 when it was trading 2021 at those highs of 180 ish i think that was the high uh stock you can see free cash flow was around 140 ish something and of course uh they were earning more per year and it was increasing everything made sense right after that but you can see free, free, uh, free cash flow remained at lows of um let me see average somewhere around here uh 50s even like okay let's go back here 55 40 something like that right and recently when you could see well free cash flow declined as stock price rallied with nvidia on all that uh, ai hype purely hype okay and you can see uh how free cash flow per share declined and of course last three quarters we have a little bit of a <clears throat> uptick but historically my point was that it is trading at very high ratio so they have basically cash enough just enough to cover their outstanding debts that's it they don't have too much of a cash on hand um if you exclude i mean the, if you just sub exclu exclude their uh, outstanding total debt uh and that's why i thought that historically this was overpriced so right here right now let's jump into the chart and i'm going to show you a little bit zoomed out maybe weekly chart so this was 2020 2021 highs 160 i think that's what we hit we came down all the way to 60 bucks and then we rallied all the way to 227 and right now we're sitting at 32. yes ultra short term you can make a case that this stock is oversold and we might see a bid to get this stock catch a bit but cautious sign right here would be for amd uh, that this name right here right now is trading below its all of its moving averages and the big one is 200 a moving average anybody who bought the stock last 200 trading sessions on average they are down year to date stock is down uh, well while s p 500 only pulled back like five percent this stock is year to date negative nine and a half percent okay so this level of 130 that was the last year's highs and we broke out like before new year or so uh, when we had a christmas rally last year uh, that level i will be watching as a support ultra short term but k 
can the stock go all the way to $100? Uh, absolutely. But we'll be talking about it later. But let's switch to different time frames just to give you like perspective, just an idea of how this name looks in terms of the charts. So far, if you take a look at this chart, it has been eight months year to date. Um, that's what we have. It is, I don't like this chart, uh, but you can see how we had nonstop rally for four years and we had 2022 bear market. Very, very uh, strong recovery, but there are many stocks that are still haven't recovered from 2023, okay? And it's the only semiconductors that did push the market and it's just kind of, uh, that's why a lot of people were very, very cautious saying that this is the uh, most like narrow, uh, small batch of stocks that are basically uh, causing that this sort of a bull market, which is, I mean, it's not a broad bull market, right? And this is a weekly chart. You can see ultra short term, uh, this stock is in a downtrend and I will be watching uh, for some sort of a bounce, but at the same time, I don't think that it can bounce. It should bounce strongly. It can do something like this that we have seen after huge drop like this and reporting earnings. We might see some sort of a action like this all the way before election. Can it do it? Absolutely. Um, but if you're somebody who's trading options, you gotta be very careful. Volume is high, implied volatility is very high. By the end of the year, let's go all the way to December uh, 20th, stock is implying that it can move 40 points up or down, which is 59% um, implied volatility. It is very high on shorter time frames if you're watching August 9th, August 16th. So you gotta be very careful if you are trying to trade options with these names uh, because AMD can just any moment, you can just switch off trade with smaller range and just chop. But this 130 support and this 145-ish uh, uh, one, let's just take a look at it right here. 150-ish, that's the earnings basically range where uh, even uh, after earnings report, um, you can see it tested 200 day moving average. So this is first level of resistance, 145. Second level of resistance, 155, that 200 day moving average. Can we see this name to rally, I mean, rally to these levels? Absolutely. Uh, let's take a look at SMH, SOX. This is the semiconductor um, basically ETF. So it is reaching its 200 day moving average. So we will catch a bit uh, definitely at some point uh, uh, in the next few, uh, maybe even trading sessions, you, whatever you watch, SMH or SOX, another semiconductor ETF, which is already at its 200 day moving average. So we might see some sort of a relief bounce, but I do expect um, the basically a AMD at the moment, uh, it's, it's technically in a bear market, okay? So from its highs, if you just measure to this drop, stock is down 40%. So anytime you see any stock drop 20% from its highs, it's out of correction territory. Up to 20, it's correction territory. But anything more than that, technically, it is in a bear market, okay? And anytime you see a stock below its 200-day moving average, you gotta be careful. Uh, but that's what I'm watching. So that's the update for AMD. Thanks for watching. Hope you are all having a good weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe. See you in the next one.